ladies and gentlemen. The story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. NBC brings you Dragnet. You're a detective sergeant. You're assigned to missing persons detail. You've never heard of Fountain Green, Utah. You've never heard of Juanita Lasky. Los Angeles is a big city. 452 square miles. 3,356,969 people. Your job, find her. Dragnet, the documented drama of an actual crime investigated and solved by the men who unrelentingly stand watch on the security of your home, your family, and your life. For the next 30 minutes, in cooperation with the Los Angeles Police Department, you will travel step by step on the side of the law through an actual case from official police files. From beginning to end, from crime to punishment, Dragnet is the story of your police force in action. It was Monday, December 12th. It was cold in Los Angeles. We were working the day watch out of missing persons detail. My partner's Ben Romero. The boss is Ed Backstrand, chief of detectives. My name's Friday. I was on my way back from lunch, and it was 12.47 p.m. when I got to room 67A. Missing persons detail. 4G. Federal cafe. Good soup today. What kind? Uh, corn chowder. It was real good. The place is jammed with Christmas shoppers. I had to wait. Mm. I haven't even started my shopping yet. You? Oh, I gotta pick up something for my mother. Prices are high. I'll send a lot of cards. Wait till you get married, Joe. Ever try to sell a Christmas card to a kid? They got to have something with wheels on it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Missing persons, Friday. Fountain Green, Utah, calling the Los Angeles Police Department. Bureau of Missing Persons. My party will speak with anyone in charge. This is Missing Persons, Sergeant Friday. Just a moment, please. Mrs. Lasky, ready with your call to Los Angeles. Hello? 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 Here's your party. Go ahead, please. Uh, operator? Yes, madam. Uh, could you please give me the charges for this call? I'm using my neighbor's phone. All right, madam. Please signal when your call is completed. Oh, yes, yes. I I'll do that. Go ahead, please. Hello? Uh, hello? Are you missing persons? Yes, ma'am. Sergeant Friday. This is Mrs. Hannah Lasky. I'm calling you from Fountain Green, Utah. Yes, ma'am. This is in regard to my daughter, Juanita Lasky. I, I haven't heard from her in well over a month, and I I'm terribly worried. Where was she staying in Los Angeles, Ms. Lasky? At the Chelsea Hotel for Women. I, I, I have the address. 941 South Melrose Street. I can't understand it. Ever since Juanita's been away from home, she, she's written twice a week regularly. When's the last time you heard from her? The last letter I have is postmarked November 2nd. You know how it is, Sergeant. We have no relatives in Los Angeles, and, and she's trying to find work down there, living all alone. I, I just don't know what to do. All right, Ms. Lasky, I'll take her description over the phone and make out a preliminary report. You'll have to send us a photograph of your daughter and a letter to the effect that you want us to trace her. I'll get the letter and the snapshot off today. Now, what's your daughter look like? What's her full name? Juanita Marie Lasky. L-A-S-K-E-Y. No, 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 no E. All right. Her age, weight, and height. She was 26 last July 10th, 128 pounds, and about my height. Well, how tall are you, Ms. Lasky? Oh, oh, yes. Um, five feet, seven inches. She has auburn hair. It's quite long, and her eyes are green. Okay, I got it. Any outstanding scars, birthmarks, anything that might help us identify her? Oh, well, what's that? I say any outstanding scars, birthmarks, anything that might help us identify her. No. Juanita's a pretty girl. Nice disposition. Oh, that's about all, Sergeant. Where can we contact you, Ms. Lasky? 122 Brigham Young Street, Fountain Green, Utah. When you find Juanita, I wish you'd have her call me right away. I I I'll pay for the call. We'll do that, Ms. Lasky. What's your number up there? This is a neighbor's phone, but they'll call me. It's Fountain Green 14R2. Yeah. We'll go to work on it. Well, Juanita always comes home for the Christmas holidays. Do you think she's all right? I wouldn't worry about it, Ms. Lasky. We'll call you just as soon as we get any kind of a lead on her. Oh, thank you so much, Sergeant. And, and if there's any charge, I'll be glad to pay it. No charge. If your daughter's in Los Angeles, I think we can find her. Oh, if there's anything wrong, you'll let me know right away? Yes, ma'am. You're very kind. Goodbye. 
Bye. What you got, Joe? Some girl owes her mother a letter. Come on, Ben. Just a routine call. We made the usual check, the morgue, all the hospitals, the county jail. And then we went through the repeater file. We found a Juanita Lasky in the files, but the age and description didn't match. We put that lead in the discard. After the usual paperwork, the next step was to check her last known residence, the Chelsea Hotel for Women. Here it is, Joe. Chelsea Hotel. Yeah. Fifty-five rooms, all outside. You're home away from home. Now let's go in. Chelsea Hotel. Thank you. Here's a bell. Yes, sir. May I help you? We're looking for a Miss Juanita Lasky. I'll ring her room. Whom shall I say is calling? Is she in? I believe so. I just saw her about an hour ago. Okay, would you ring her room, please? Uh, yes, sir. And whom shall I say is calling? My name's Friday. All right, Mr. Friday. Just a moment. Uh, do you wish to speak with her on the phone, or shall I have her come down? Ask her to come down if she doesn't mind. She doesn't need to answer. That's funny. I'll ring again. No, sir, she doesn't seem to be in. Would you like to leave a message? Didn't you say you saw her about an hour ago? Yes, I did. She must have gone out again. I wonder if we could check the room. Oh, no. Gentlemen are not allowed above the main lobby. I'm sorry, ma'am. We're from the police department. Missing persons. I'm Sergeant Friday. This is Sergeant Romero. Oh. You men are from missing persons, did you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm sure Juanita's just stepped out for a moment if you'd care to wait here in the lobby. We haven't got much time, ma'am. We'd appreciate it if you'd show us a room. Certainly. I'll get to the you. Two fifteen. The elevator is right this way. Thank you. What seems to be the trouble? Some friend of Juanita's missing? No, ma'am. Juanita. Juanita? I don't understand. Her mother's a little worried about her. Down this way. Here we are. No wonder she didn't hear the phone. She's in the shower. Yes, ma'am. Um, would you rap on the bathroom door until we'd like to talk to her as soon as she's through? We'll wait out here in the hall. Certainly. Juanita? Juanita, there are two gentlemen here to see you. Juanita? Juanita? I'm coming in. It's Miss Waters. Sergeant? Yeah? There's no one in the shower. It's running, isn't it? Yes, and I see a robe and towel all laid out. We better take a look around. Turn off the shower, will you? Then? Yeah. She must have left in a hurry. Say, here's a fresh change of clothing on the bed. Where's the closet, ma'am? This door? Yes, that's right. Closet full of clothes. There's a couple of pieces of luggage in there. This isn't like one, either. Funny, isn't it? You say you saw her about an hour ago. Yes, I did. Coming in or going out? Oh, coming in, I thought. You have room service here? Yes, we have a coffee shop downstairs. Uh -huh. The tray of food here on the table hasn't been touched. Coffee's still warm. Shut that radio off, will you, Ben? Yeah. Could she have gotten out of the building without you seeing her? No, we don't have a rear entrance. You sure you didn't see her go out the front door just before we got here? No. No, I did not. How about her mail? Has she been picking it up lately? I think so. We can check that down at the desk. Yeah, here's some letters. Postmark Utah. Return address. Mrs. H. Lasky. Mother. Yeah, let me see that other one, Ben. This is one of your telephone message forms? Well, let me see. Yes, yes, that's right. It says long distance call operator two Fountain Green, Utah. According to this slip, this call was received at one twenty five today. May I see that, sir? Certainly. There you are. Yes, that's Edna's writing. Mrs. Tollison took that call. She relieves me for lunch. Well, do you know whether she returned this call? Well, if she did, there'll be a record down at the desk. Uh-huh. Now, you're positive that you saw Juanita Lasky an hour ago. Yes, how? I'm sure. Just about an hour ago. Five feet, seven, 128 pounds, green eyes, red hair. Red hair? Oh, no. Juanita's a blonde. Her mother told us that Juanita Lasky had red hair. Now, we weren't too surprised. A lot of women change the color of their hair. It would make identification a little more difficult, but not impossible. We checked down at the desk. Juanita Lasky had picked up all her mail, but she had not answered that long-distance phone call to Fountain Green. The next step was to question some of the people in the Chelsea Hotel who knew Juanita. We tried room 217. Yeah, oh, 
Gloria, these men are police officers. They want to ask you some questions. Oh, yes. Is it all right for them to... Yes, yes, of course. This is an exception. Won't you come in? Thank you. What's your name, miss? Gloria Edgerton. You know Juanita Lasky? Yes, I know her. She has a room right next door to me. Have you seen her today? No, I haven't. I've been out doing my Christmas shopping. Why? We were trying to locate her, Miss Edgerton. Wasn't well, she in her room? I thought I heard her shower going. Yes, yeah, she did, but she wasn't in there. When was the last time you saw her? Last night at dinner. We always eat dinner together. Did she say anything that might lead you to believe that she was going in work today? No. She said she might do some Christmas shopping today, so I suggested she go with me, and she agreed. She said she'd let me know this morning. Did she? No, she didn't. I just assumed that maybe she was sleeping in, so I went on alone. Are you sure she hasn't just slipped out? We don't know. If you're just going down to the corner, it's a little unusual to leave the shower running, the radio on, and let your lunch get cold. Did she do that? How long has Juanita had blonde hair? Well, ever since I've known her, about six months. We moved in here together. We work at the same place. Where's that, Miss Edgerton? At the Cadget building. We're elevator operators. I see. Who's your immediate superior down there? Darlene Camp. She's cheap starter. Mm-hmm. You got that, ma'am? Mm-hmm. She have many dates? No, not too many. Juanita likes to go steady. Who was her steady boyfriend? Paul Matthews. He works in the Cadget building, too. He's in the dental lab for Dr. Welty. Six floor. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to add that might help us find her? Well, are you sure she's lost? The Claggett Building is in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. It's a business and professional building. The cornerstone says, erected in 1924, and it stands 12 stories high. The main entrance is on Hill Street. Going up. That's all in the car, please. All right, now, Going up. Get back in the car, please. Are you Darlene Camp? Yes. Just a moment, please. Going up. All right, Dora. Can I help you? I'm Sergeant Friday, Police Department. This is Sergeant Romero. Yes, sir. Juanita Lasky work for you? Yes, she does. She's one of my operators. When's the last time you saw her? Mm, anything wrong? No, no. We're just trying to locate her. <laughs> you just missed her by 45 minutes. All right, Sylvia. She was in to pick up a check. You know where she cashes her check? Most of the girls cash them out at the bank on the corner. There's only one around here over on 8th. You say about 45 minutes ago? Yes, that's right. Thanks very much, Miss Camp. Come on, Ben. Going up. All right, Marion. The yeah, bank's not far from here. Yeah, it is kind of funny, isn't it? What's that? Her room, the shower, the radio, that lunch. Sure pulled out in a hurry. What do you think? I don't know what to figure. It's a new one on me. She's alive. We know that. She was, 45 minutes ago, anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Christmas is here. Santa Claus in his chimney. Yeah. Uh Uh-oh. I beg your pardon, sir. That's all right. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Here we are, Joe. Guess we better check with the manager, huh? You the manager? I'm the assistant manager. Can I help you? Police department. Yes, sir. I'd like to find out if a check has been cashed here within the hour. Yes, sir. And what's the party's name? Lasky, Juanita, payroll check, Plaggett building. Yes, sir. I know Miss Lasky. If you'll uh, step behind the counter, I'll get the check. Thank you. If you'll uh, just wait right here. Okay, thanks. Wonder why she stopped writing to her mother. That's a good question. When we find her, we'll ask her. Wonder if anything was wrong where she worked. No, it didn't seem to be. We'll check back there when we finish here. Yeah. That boy from Paul Matthews, too. Yeah. Oh, here's our man. Yes, sir. Here's the cancel check. I okayed it. You sure it's the same girl? Blonde girl, elevator operator in the Claggett building. Was she alone? Oh, I think so. Did she appear normal? No. No, she didn't seem to be as friendly as she usually is. Now, does she have an account here? She did have a small savings account here, but she closed it out about a month ago. I see. Well, here's our card. If you should happen to see her again, give us a call. I'll do that. Thank you very much. Entirely welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We went back to the Claggett building. Ben called the Chelsea Hotel from the phone booth in the lobby of the building. Miss Waters, the manager, was keeping a sharp lookout, but Juanita Lasky had not been heard from. Paul Matthews worked in a dental lab for a Dr. Welding. His office was number 637. Yes, gentlemen, may I help you? We'd like to see Paul Matthews. I'm Paul Matthews. We're from Missing Persons Police Department. Sergeant Friday, I'm Sergeant Merrill. Yes, sir. Do you know a Juanita Lasky? Yes, sir. When's the last time you saw her? Saturday night. We went to a show. Is there something wrong? We're trying to locate her. 
Do you see a lot of each other? Yes, we do. I don't understand... Miss Lasky disappeared from the hotel a couple hours ago. Thought maybe you might know where she is. No, I don't. Today's her day off. Maybe she's out shopping. Has Juanita done anything wrong? No, it's just that her mother hasn't heard from her for quite some time. I can explain that. Juanita's an elevator operator here in the building. That's how I met her. They don't make much money, you know. Yeah. She was having a hard time making ends meet. She sends money home to her mother every month or so, and besides that, she's got to pay rent and buy clothes, and eat. It's pretty rough. She seemed despondent over all this? No, I wouldn't say that, but she was kind of unhappy about not getting a raise. Do you have any outside job? No, sir, she didn't. What kind of a girl is she? What do you mean? Cheerful, good-natured. Oh, sure. Fine girl. We get along swell. I, I, I still don't get it. Well, maybe there's nothing to it. Just a routine check. I hope she's all right. When did all this come up? A couple of hours ago. We might have to check back with you. If I can help. Uh, okay. Thanks for the information. Here's our card. If you hear from him, we'll give us a ring. You don't suppose anything's happened to her? That's what we're trying to find out. Goodbye, Mr. Matthews. When we got back to Central Division, we had a full description of Juanita Lasky teletype to all outlying stations in the metropolitan area of Los Angeles. We also put out an APB. We double-checked the repeater file and the wanderer file. We made out a full report on our findings to date. During the next eight days, we located a missing husband for a wife in Memphis, Tennessee. We picked up a runaway boy missing from his home in Reno, Nevada, and a 79-year-old veteran of the Spanish-American War who left his home in Bakersfield, California because he didn't like his daughter-in-law's cooking. But Juanita Lassie was still a mystery. For eight days, we checked and rechecked all our known friends and habits. We went back over the course a dozen times, but no trace. It was almost as if she had ceased to exist that day in the Chelsea Hotel. The letter and photograph from her mother had arrived, and we circulated it to cities all over the country. Her mother wrote that during the war, Juanita was a whack corporal. We put a tracer through to the War Department. That way, we'd have another photo and a full set of fingerprints. Well, where do you want to start today? I'll get it. Missing persons, Friday. Joe, this is Spencer over in the morgue. Yeah, Archie. You still looking for that girl? Uh, what's her name? Ramona Lasky? Juanita, yeah. Just had one brought in. Looks like your girl to me. The city morgue is located in the basement of the Hall of Justice on West Temple Street, across the street from the city hall. A lot of missing persons cases end right here. Archie Spencer met us at the door. Hi, Joe. How's the wife been? Oh, fine, Archie. Over here, Joe. Cooler 23. Okay. Give me a hand, huh? You bet. That's her, isn't it? When's she going to be posted? As soon as your fingerprint man gets here. Yeah. That's Ramona Lasky, isn't it? Juanita. Juanita, I mean. No. No, that's not her, Archie. You sure? Yeah. Oh, I was almost positive. Sure looks like this picture in the bulletin. Yeah, yeah, she looks a lot like the picture, but it's not Juanita Lasky. Five foot seven, green eyes, blonde hair, about 130. Hmm. How close can you get? And look at the face. You sure that's not her? Yeah, I'm sure. Look at her hair, the roots. Yeah. They're blonde all the way down. They ought to be dark. Our girls are bleached blonde. Yeah, I see what you mean. Look at her right hand, index and middle fingers. Heavy nicotine stains. Our girl didn't smoke, Archie. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, guess I was wrong. That's not Ramona. Juanita. Come on, Ben. Afternoon, we got another phone call from Fountain Green, Utah. Juanita Lasky's mother. We told her we hadn't found any trace of her daughter. It was a hard job. We had answered calls like this before, but... Maybe it was just the season of the year. Somehow, we felt that we had to find Juanita Lasky by Christmas. We covered every angle we could think of. We kept close watch on all incoming reports. We stayed in close contact with her friends and Miss Waters at the Chelsea Hotel. Regardless of the name on the incoming reports, we checked every set of fingerprints against those we had received on Juanita Lasky from the War Department. Still, no trace. December 23rd, we checked in for work at 8.30 a.m. Chief Ed Backstrand wanted to see us. A little something on the Lasky girl might help you. What is it, Kevin? man by the name of Willard Harris owns a bar out in Pomona. Phoned in this morning. Yeah? Found a woman's handbag left in the bar. Driver's license made out to Juanita Lasky. Why'd you think to call her? He's got a television set in his bar. Saw the Lasky girl's picture on Sergeant Rosenquist's broadcast last night. How about the girl? 
Says he can't place her. You uh, better hop out and pick up that purse. Willard Harris owned the Mission Trail Bar. It was in the bus terminal in the heart of Pomona. The Christmas traffic was heavy all the way out Garvey Boulevard. It was 10.45 when we pulled up in front of the bar. Willard Harris was inside taking a liquor inventory when we walked in. How do you do? You, Mr. Harris? Yes, that's right. You fellas with General Liquors? Los Angeles Police Department. My name's Friday. This is Sergeant Romero. Oh, say. Glad to know you boys. Yeah, I called Los Angeles this morning. We came right out. Say, um, how about a little eye-opener? Got some fine Irish whiskey? No, thanks, Mr. Harris. How about your partner there? No, thank you. All right, boys. Guess you want that purse, huh? Yes, please. Yeah. Here you are. Just as I found it. I opened it up to get the owner's name, but that's all. Didn't touch a thing. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Harris. You said that you didn't remember seeing the woman who left this. No, I don't. Herb works with me here. He might have seen her, but he didn't. I asked him the night we found it. How long ago did you find this purse? Oh, better part of two weeks. No, a little closer to a week. Yeah. Yeah, about eight days ago. I usually hold something like this for 30 days. That's the law, you know. Yeah. But I saw that fellow on the television on that missing persons program. That's how come I called you, boys. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Harris. That's all, boys. It's cold out this morning. Sure you don't want a little bit? No, thanks, Mr. Harris. Goodbye. We checked the personnel at the bus terminal, but none of them seemed to recognize Juanita Lasky's photograph. We checked the contents of her purse, but we found nothing unusual. Four one-dollar bills and some change and the normal things women carry. Since it was money in the bag, we felt sure that Juanita Lasky had lost the purse herself. That meant that she was alive eight days ago, two days after she walked out of the Chelsea Hotel. We checked 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 Chelsea Hotel. Her license home print. That's the only print carried on a California driver's license. It matched the same print on the War Department record. It didn't prove anything except that all the evidence tied in and belonged to the girl we were looking for, Juanita Lasky. The next morning, December 24th, we checked in for work at 8.30. Morning, Ben. All right, Joe, here's the daily report. You want to check them? There's a mess of them. Let's get at them. You look through any of them yet? No, not yet. I figured it'd wait for you. All right, I'll take half, huh? Mm. Got any shopping done? No, you? It's on. Lunch hour, mostly. Mm-hmm. Found some nice cards. Be sure to send me one. Yeah, I'll hand it to you in the morning. Let's trade shaving lotions like we did last year. If I get any. You can get some. My kid's got a bottle all picked out for you. It's called South Pole for that cool thing. Yeah. Just like you. 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 Feeling one. He's only a kid. He's feeling one. He's only a kid. He's feeling one. Better than he gets old. Oh, you'll do it. Tell the trap, buddy. On the last case. Thanks, Holm. Oh, Ben, listen to this. Yeah. Bureau of Criminal Investigation, Sacramento. Here's a kickback on our APB. Yeah, what you say? Uh, reading your APB, number 43 on 12, 1248. Our records disclose that Juanita Lasky applied for a position of civilian clerk at Marchfield, California, U.S. Army Air Base, using alias Gene Davis. How about the fingerprint classification? Yeah, let me find out. Yeah, FPC. Key 19, primary 32 over 32, inner over outer, final 15 over 17. Friends, check out. That's our girl, Joe. <laughs> Sacramento report stated that Gene Davis had applied for government work at Marchfield, California. Well, a couple of things dropped into place. Her purse had been found in Pomona. That's right on the main highway from Los Angeles to Riverside. And the application for a job at the Army Air Base a few miles beyond Riverside. We put through a long-distance phone call, and they told us that Gene Davis was employed there as a civilian clerk but failed to show up for work that morning. It seems like we run fresh out of the air every trip, doesn't it? We get so close, and then she's gone again. What you think she's on the go for? If I could figure that, I could find her. I'll get it. Missing persons, Friday. Yeah? We'll be right over. We didn't find her, but she's been found. Juanita Lasky just walked into the Chelsea Hotel. We went over to the Chelsea Hotel. Technically, our job was completed now. Juanita Lasky had been found. We went over to make out a routine report. The streets were pretty jammed with last-minute Christmas shoppers, so we walked the last block to the hotel. What's your guess, Joe? Let's ask her. Come on, let's go in. 
That looks like her over by the desk there. Yeah, pretty well memorized that face. Sergeant, this is Juanita Lasky. Sergeant Siding, Sergeant Romero, Juanita. How do you do, Miss Lasky? How do you do? I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Miss Waters told me. Do you mind telling us? Where have you been? Sergeant, I don't know. These last 12 days have been a complete loss to me. Miss Waters told me what happened. I went over to see my doctor. He said I had temporary amnesia. I have to have treatment. I see. What's your doctor's name, Miss Lasky? Dr. Rudner over on Crenshaw. Well, we're glad you're okay. Kind of had us going there for a while. I'm sorry. Can I use your phone, Miss Waters? Oh, certainly. Help yourself. Thank you. I'd like to place a person-to-person call to Mrs. Hannah Lasky, Fountain Green, Utah. That number is 14R2. Fountain Green, Utah, 14R2. That's right. Your name and number, please. Joe Friday, and this is Hempstead 8594. Thank you. Rate operator. Fountain Green, Utah, route and night person rate from Los Angeles. T.C. Mount Pleasant. Salt Lake, night person, 140. Through Salt Lake. Salt Lake. Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. Fountain Green. Fountain Green. Fountain Green, 14R2. Mrs. Hannah Lasky, Los Angeles, California, calling. Thank you. Ringing operator. Hello. Mrs. Hannah Lasky, please. Los Angeles, California, calling. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Hang on. I'll, I'll get her. Waiting on your party, sir. Thanks. Getting through all right, Jill? Yeah. Lucky. Christmas Eve. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hello, Ms. Lasky. Yes? Just a minute, Ms. Lasky. Juanita. Yes? You're wanted on the phone. Oh. Who is it? Just say hello. She'll take it from there. Let's go, then. Hello? Mother. Come on, Ben. Yes, I, I'm all right. Mother, it's so good to hear your voice. See you tomorrow, Joe. Merry Christmas. Yeah, it is, isn't it? The story you have just heard is true. Only the names were changed protect the innocent. Upon further examination by competent medical authorities, Juanita Lasky was found to be suffering from periodic spells of amnesia. She was given treatment and a complete cure was effected. You have just heard the eighth in a new series of authentic cases from official files. Technical advice for Dragnet is furnished by the Los Angeles Police Department. Tonight's program is dedicated to Corporal Grady A. Beecham of the 9th Precinct Metropolitan Police Force, Washington, D.C., who, on the night of December 2nd, 1948, gave his life so that yours might be more secure. Dragnet came to you from Los Angeles. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.